And I'm really excited to welcome ESPN's Rachel Nichols um, to Annenberg Intelligence today. Rachel is one of the most accomplished sports journalists working today with a career that has spanned print, television, digital, sidelines, and hosting. How do you find the players coping with the new way of covering them? We're all just kind of getting used to it. The press availabilities after the game have been so traditional for so long, right? Players up on a podium and a room full of people, and now instead they're sitting in front of a video screen and they can't see anyone who's asking them a question who's not in the room with them. So it's a very disembodied way to do all of these interviews. I'm joined by my co-moderator today, Lachelle Smith. So go ahead, Lachelle, I'm gonna let you keep going. But for you as a reporter that was granted this access, what does your day-to-day -day look like for you? We work on the jump uh, during the day. I write the monologue at the top of the show that maybe try to run and get my daily coronavirus test before I leave to go to the arena to take the show. I am the sideline reporter for ESPN right now for the Eastern Conference Finals and Finals. So I am in the middle also of dashing around and having meetings with coaches and players trying to get information do reporting, and then once the game starts, we're putting on another three-hour show. I kind of wake up every day, and, and I'm still in awe that this is working. It's a Herculean endeavor, and I think in the end, that's going to be one of the things I take away, that this kind of thing is possible. You know, it's kind of the NBA's moonshot, and they did it. With the atmosphere of the bubble, uh, all the upsets, the mental health, how do you think those attitudes have changed about this season? I think the perspective now, even among people who are doubtful, has been that this is unquestionably earned and that it's not about the players. It's about what the people who have been here have been able to do and pull off. And that's one of the best parts about sports, right? I mean, we are able to see people test the limits of, of, of human ability. I don't know when we're going to get to go back to a regular basketball season. I think there will be some real comfort and joy and just having the sort of touchstones of sports that we've all known and loved over the years. But maybe there'll be a little bit something missing too um, by feeling like, oh, you just have to win a basketball game? Man, I remember 2020 where you had to do this, 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 and this. Um, and I think that's how we'll think of all this stuff.